Hello, welcome to this episode of Cup TV. In this episode we're going to be creating a pop-up box card kit called Viva Vibrant from Janice Sheehan. The cup number for this item is 739432 underscore 2049. Janice also has lots of other pop-up pop box card kits available so be sure to check out her other designs. I'm going to include a link on top of the screen for Janice's uh, homepage so you'll be able to see all of Janice's designs. Once you've got your kit and you printed it off, there's seven sheets that you'll need to print off. Two are to make the envelope. You've got lots for the embellishments and for the outside of the box. And then you have the main box. This sheet you will need to print twice and I'd like to show you how to make the box and the pop-up items. So after you've printed this twice, the first thing that you will do is cut it out as it is for one of the printouts. There are score lines marked on the actual sheet and there's cut lines as well. So you'll fold it, uh, sorry, score it and then we're going to start to fold it. However, I've found the easiest thing because we need to decorate both sides. Where you've printed off the second sheet, you actually cut those into the strips as they are from the sheet. You don't need the tab, but you just cut them out. And then you're going to add these to the back of the actual design that's the box. So just bear with me while we attach these because it's in effect we're making a double sided item. So it's got design on both sides. Now for quickness I actually added my adhesive first just so when I stick these on to the back of the box you're not sat watching me just add adhesive and it's taking time to do that because that's the last thing you want to see and I'll just add the last one there we go so the last one to add is this one on the end so now in theory we've got a double sided design so what I'm going to do is now because we've already scored it I'm going to start to make the actual box shape. So on the tab I've added double sided tape and I'm just going to take the back of this away like that and then we fold that over and it will literally stick together like that to form the box okay now every so often we want to keep folding it flat to make sure that everything we're doing will make sure that it folds flat to go into the envelope so we're going to start to decorate our box Janice has included lots of items that you can decorate the inside and the outside with. So one of the first items is the to and the from sheet and this will sit nicely on the back of the longest side of the box like that. I've already had adhesive on the back of mine just for quickness. Now the next thing is all the sides of the boxes there's some really gorgeous designs that you add to the base of the box and just add them all the way around like so so that covers up the little flap on the side of the box and you won't see it because the top flap will be over it anyway so next we turn where we've scored the actual box we turn these edges out so we've got our score lines and it still folds flat 
both sides. Now we can decorate the flaps with the other embellishments that Janice has included. So we're just going to add these on each side like that and the last one the other side. I've gone a bit skew if with one side, not to worry. You'll be able to take a lot more time with it at home. So the final thing for the actual mechanics of the box is there's some tabs that's included and there's four tabs and you print them out, score them and then add a little bit of tape at either side of the edges of the tabs and then you add them to the inside of the box like so and just make sure they're all in a line and the pattern side of the tabs faces the front because then there's no blank spaces. This is the final one. Now these tabs are what your pop-up items are going to sit on. So that's my final tab, all four in a row there. So now we get the part to decorate and add our pop-up items. I'm going to start off with some of the longer items at the back and then I'm going to work forward. All these items are included in the kit and you simply work all the way forward put that one to the front I think and Janice has included so many of the floral embellishments you're going to be absolutely stuck for choice so I'm going to just carry on adding a couple more and the easiest way to do it is to add the glue onto the item and then position where you want it to go in the pop-up. There we go. And a couple more lilies towards the front. There's so many great items. You are really going to be spoilt for choice. And the colours are so pretty. So we'll just add that to the front like that. You will be able to have so much fun with these. And I've just got a little bird to sit at the side there from the kids. Um, pop, oops, pop him there. So we'll just add those again. You'll be able to use a wet glue or a stronger glue and take more time than I am. But I'm rushing to try and fit everything in to show you. So that's our little sentiment. And that is our pop-up box. And it still folds flat to go into the envelope. And then when it's open, everything pops up. Now Janice has included an envelope as well and you simply cut that out, score along the lines that she's included, add tape along the lines. Now she's actually included where it says to glue so that you know and you fold the sides over, both sides like that. And then you simply add the front of the envelope onto the top of the folds and 
that is your matching envelope for your gorgeous pop-up card box. So be sure to check out all of Janice's designs. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you'll look out for more Cup TVs in the future. Thank you.